Right, Alpha 156 2.4 JT DM Lusso. Just got down here, so I'm going to start it from cold. Let's check us in neutral. Right, so you can see if there's any smoke or not. As you can see, it starts first time, no problem. There's the back end. As you can see, clear. Right, next phase. Right, Alpha 156 JTTM Lusso 20 valve multi jet outside. There we go, close up of the tyres, the wheels, bodywork is very very good for the year. Slight scuff there look, yeah, looks nice from the back, probably, a couple of chrome tailpipes there would be nice. But that's down to the individual choice. It is entirely standard. There you go. Another good wheel, good tyre. Even got the little design badge there. Oh, I don't know so bad down the bottom. Another good tyre, another good wheel. Obviously not refurbed. That's the outside. Right, interior. Full leather all the way through and in very, very good condition. As you can see, dash, everything on it works, LCD displays work. Radio works, aircon works, everything works exactly like it should. All looks clean and tidy, not much wear on it at all. In the back, same again. I doubt these back seats have seen much action whatsoever of any shape or form. Um, everything's pretty much spot on back here. Armrest. Back hatch, there you go. Is that what you'd expect? That's been running, so, because I've driven it home. Can, I'll take it for a spin and film it. Hopefully my plan of squeezing the phone in between the headrest and the seat will hold fast. And I'll take you up the road. I'll turn the fan down so you can listen to the engine and uh, see if there's any noises. Right, you can see the clocks on the video, so I'll give you a commentary of what the speed is as I put my foot down. There we go, that's 45 in second. That's 70 in third. That's 
I don't know if you can pick that up, but there's an Aston Martin on a trailer there. Um, but there's a uh, there's a slight judder from the brakes under every braking, so it sounds like and feels like the pads are a little bit uneven worn. Um, so they probably need changing, but I have to admit that hasn't been done this time. Um, I normally do these things, but on this one I haven't. I've just put it up for sale as it is. As you can see, pulls like a train. There she goes. Smooth, no knocks, no bangs, no nothing. Just goes. Round around about. A little bit of tire squeal, but not much. Holds the road quite well. But hopefully, if uh, you get nothing else out of the car, you get a lovely view of St Austell Bay. Isn't it lovely? Really is a pleasure to drive. And if it weren't for the fact I had two 159s and a spider, I'd probably be keeping this in my collection, but for now, it's got to go. And whoever has it, and I might be the one selling it, so I might be biased, but I'm telling you, you're getting a bargain. There's only 13 of these left registered on the road in the country, and this is one of them. And it's a 20 valve multi jet. And it really does get round the road. Bloody lovely. Aircon's cold too, but I've turned it off so that uh, it's not making a fan noise. Um, so there you go. Everything on it works. All marks. Um, even the steering wheel controls work on the aftermarket radio, as I will demonstrate now by pressing the button. And so Simon's Chris. There you go. Um, so it really is a 156 2.4 that's ready to go and uh, there aren't many of these left so if you want one and you want one that's better than most of them out there this should be the one for you and at a starting price of 999 on ebay what a bargain buy it now buy it now before somebody else gets it before you good luck everybody Get your bids in. And then, uh, hopefully, I'll see one of you to pick this up. Once you've bought it. Any more details, go to jgti.co.uk. And all the photos and everything is on there. There'll be a link to the YouTube video that this is on on there as well, if you can find it. Um, and I'll put the YouTube video on the eBay link as well. All right, thank you very much. Cheers.